That's what I was going for. Hey everybody, Andy the Kenworth guy here. How are you? Uh, how how are you doing today? That's great. Glad to hear it. Well, I'm having the world's best day. So uh, today, what we are looking at is a tandem axle T370. It is a medium duty truck. It has a high up crane on it and a flat deck. So without further ado, let's take a look at this truck. All right, hey everybody, we are out front. We are doing a tour of this truck in the front lot, uh, parking lot. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Winnipeg. It's 31 degrees Celsius outside. So that's like, uh, I think 100 or 99 degrees. Let's, uh, let's find out what is it. Hey Siri, what is 31 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 87 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a beautiful day here in Winnipeg, but uh, enough about the weather Let's check out the truck So here we are at the truck. Uh, it's a 2020 Kenworth T370. So this is the medium duty chassis. Uh, it's a common cab with the C500, T800, W900, and the late T660 or T600. So uh, it's a common cab. There's another one right there. That's a little garbage truck I sold. I'm gonna do a video on that one here soon. Just getting that one rigged up. But uh, I sell quite a few medium duty trucks. Uh, it's where I got my start in this business, selling these kinds of trucks, so it's a special place in my heart. Aww. Um, all right, so looking at this truck, we have uh, a 2020 model. It's got a 16,000 pound front axle. It's got the 40,000 pound rear on air suspension. We'll uh, take a closer look at that here in a minute. Now this cab, it's a all aluminum huck bolted cab. So you got a nice heavy duty cab design. 24 inch piano style door hinge, which is really strong and uh, cab mounted mirrors, not door mounted mirrors. So open and close that door, mirrors stay in nice adjustment. Uh, we got an aluminum metal mesh grill, so that's a nice heavy duty grill with the uh, chrome center spear. We have the painted bumper. It can be chrome if you'd prefer or stainless steel rather. So this truck has aluminum rims on the front and the 385 tires are wrapped around it. So it's a nice uh, wide base steer tire. Good for uh, getting that 16,000 pound rating. We needed that because we have this heavy duty high ab knuckle boom crane behind the cab. So a uh, little bit of engineering that we had to do on this truck we had to make sure that there was clear space between the frame rails so we ordered the truck with a custom frame layout uh, position the fuel tank on this side back here so uh, the legs had plenty of clearance so uh, we had lots of room we have a single side of cab exhaust and we kept the tailpipe nice and short so if uh, that boom is getting lifted up it's uh, it, it provides you more clearance so there's the mesh headache rack up there so you can kind of see through a bit and uh, here is the rear axle, of course. Air suspension, it's a Hendrickson HAS 402. And uh, steel wheels on the back. So we ordered the truck with a air and electric to the end of the frame in the event that uh, they wanna pull a trailer down the road, they have the option for it there. Gives a tractor uh, trailer valve in the dash there for the trailer brakes when you order that. And this is a Grainmaster 
uh, steel deck. The Green Master did the whole install. Um, one thing that we had to modify, we ordered the truck with dual fuel tanks. Uh, there was a 56 gallon fuel tank right here and uh, we had to remove it because the customer wanted a toolbox not behind the tires but in front so that's where it was put and the fuel tank was removed there's the def tank and clear space on this side for the legs look at those bolts Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. those are uh, those are some pretty big bolts there all right let's uh, crack the hood and see what's underneath so the this hood opens a full 90 degrees, so as you can see here, there is uh, plenty of access and plenty of room to see what's going on underneath the, the cab here if you need to do some service work, very easy to do. We install the bug screen in behind the grill right there so it's easy to clean out. You just open the hood and blow it out. All your headlights and taillights are all right here. Give these a half turn and you have access underneath uh, to change the bulbs. Uh, over here, all the fluid level checks are centralized on the medium duty trucks, all on one side, so easy to do your pre-trip in the morning. You got your engine oil fill, you got your power steering, you got your tranny uh, fill right in the back there, or check rather, your washer fluid, your coolant, and uh, that's where everything's located. So really nice, uh, nice setup. Now this truck here, we ordered it with a dual power steering box. So you can see here, we got uh, the 8,000 pound capacity uh, steering box on this side. And we got another one. We got another one right there. So dual power steering gives you a little bit better turning radius and a little bit more, you know, oomph. oomph. When you need that power, it's right there. Uh, your HVAC, uh, your cab filter is right behind here. I'm. Uh, I'm still using a makeshift uh, system here for doing my videos with this mic up on top of there. So I would do it, but both hands are, are kind of occupied right now. But uh, behind this here, you pull that little rubber down and there's the cab filter. So easy to, uh, to get to that. And there's the engine filter right up behind there. Really nice setup, really nice truck. Uh, let's close up the hood. First, I got to get this latch right there and Close up the hood. Yeah. All right, so the batteries are mounted right here on the step. So this is nice. When you order the truck with the fuel tanks under the door, you get a little bit more of a ladder style. This here is more of a step, so it's kind of offset. So it's a little easier to get in and out. Uh, but uh, looking inside the cab, I'll show you what we got here. Fire, ext fire extinguishers right there. We, we have your uh, your premium, sorry, your Kenworth Air Cushion Plus seats with the height and lumbar support there. And uh, we put a toolbox on the passenger side, right over there. Now the dash on this truck here, we have a uh, manual window lift right there, power window, heated mirrors, they are non-motorized, so those are fixed. Uh, your power door locks. Down here, we have your DPF and your brightness. We have some gauges, a couple more gauges, some switches, uh, PTO, spare switch, light switch, air switch, uh, a few others, air suspension dump, full lockups. This is the push button for the Allison Automatic. Very nice uh, transmission, very easy to uh, engage gear. It drives like a car, just really smooth operation. So uh, that's what we got there. And there's your radio control right up there. All right, so that's the short and sweet tour on this truck. Uh, big thank you to Eric at Timbermax in Dryden, Ontario for buying this truck, adding this into your fleet. He's gonna be using it to deliver lumber, shingles, uh, housing and garage packages and so forth. So thanks for choosing to do business with me and with Inland CTS. I really appreciate it and uh, thanks for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, hit that button, give it a thumbs up and we will see you on the next video. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.
Green wins. Hey everybody. <clears throat> <Ooh. clears throat>